oh hello there we go uh and welcome back i know it's been a while i apologize uh, i've been back to work and it has been hard to do all the things so we are here though for your final two topics we are going to bring back around our self portraits from the beginning of the year so you guys rem remember those um we did those neil Deliani ones uh which were the big long stretchy neck uh, and then we also did the ones where you guys used your fun picture and then you added the different words um, that felt you felt represented you at the beginning of the school year. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do another kind of abstract uh, self-portrait. And we are going to emulate Pablo Picasso in this project. Um, Pablo Picasso is argumentatively probably one of the most famous artists because um, he wasn't just a painter he did sculpting and theater design and all sorts of other things um, but he is probably one of the most influential artists and most successful artists of all time um, I think I read that he's like he's made over a, his paintings have sold and his works have sold for over a hundred million dollars a lot of money um, so but the reason he's so famous is that he helped found a concept called cubism which is very abstract um, cubists rejected traditional things so everything we've talked about we've talked about perspective right we talked about making things look three-dimensional uh, we've talked a lot about about traditional rules in regards to art and you have to know the rules before you can break the rules but today we are going to break the rules like Pablo Picasso. So the first thing we're going to do, and the way it's going to be a self-portrait, is that we're going to use construction paper. Um, I'm going to start with green, because green is my favorite color. What are you going to start with, Lily? White, green. White on green, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a face shape. Um, I do have a grid here, an example, that I will post um, for you guys to see as an example. But notice, does this look like a real face shape? No. So, I want you guys to pick any face shape that you would like on your piece of construction paper. Um, I'm going to make mine kind of sideways, maybe with a crazy chin. Okay? So, what does yours look like? Oh, that looks good. Emma's is a heart. Mine's like this. There we go. A heart face is going to go which way? Is it which way is that? Oh, okay. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick some different colors. So, a lot of cubists used... Crazy colors, crazy things, nothing matched, big eye, small eye, weird nose, crazy face. So we are going to do that as well. Um, we will eventually cut all these things out, but we're going to draw them all together, and then I'm going to break. Um, you can cut things out, and then you're going to glue it all together, and then I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, I will come back, and we'll talk about what our second self-portrait is going to be. So our next thing is we need some eyes. I think I'm going to use purple, because purple is one of my favorite colors as well. And, and it can be any shape, any size. I'm gonna make one eye that's open. So I've got one eye. I decided to do an eye like that. It's kind of weird. Ooh, that's a good eye. I like that, Lily. And then I think my second eye is gonna be blue. My second eye, I'm gonna make it winking, maybe. I'm gonna make kind of a moon shape. And then maybe some eyelashes. <laughs> oh, what is, oh, Emma's is a heart eyeball. She's going to be all full of hearts. She does love hearts. Ooh, Lily's is a crisscross eyeball. I like it. So now I have two eyeballs. Hmm. One eye, two eye. Do I, do I have a fourth paper for the mouth? I don't know if you want. It's fine. We got paper everywhere. Um, I'm going to do yellow for my nose. Or maybe maybe red. I don't know. Red's right here on top. I need my other eye. So yet again, here's the example. Oh, it's falling down. All right, here's the example. And we're going to do a nose. I'm going to make a swirly curly nose. I'm going to be like this. There's my swirly curly nose. Don't, this is Lily's eyeball. This is my nose. We're reusing paper so we don't waste. Oh, is this just one of your eyeballs? Can I use this for my mouth? And then next up, we're going to make a mouth. Um, and this, again, it can be something that represents you or it can just be what you like, um, just so that it kind of represents because it's a self-portrait. So for my mouth, I'm going to do a sideways mouth because nothing else is really sideways. Mine kind of looks like a heart. You see it down there? That's my heart. That's one of Lily's eyeballs. Purple. Okay, we need some ears. I'm going to make both my ears the same size. I need to make my nose. Or the same color, I guess. 
Maybe I'll do blue ears. So the ears, I don't have any examples for. You can make it look any way you want. I'm gonna make mine kind this of my mouth. square. And we're gonna go make Like my nose? Oh, it's a little nose. All of her things are gonna be hearts. Here's my ears. And then if you wanna add hair, go ahead and add hair. Um, I might do a crazy bun on my head because that's what my hair is doing today. And um, yeah, we're gonna break, we're gonna cut, and then I want you to glue it all together. And then I want to see it. And then we'll come back and talk about our next self-portrait. Talk to you later. Okay, we're back to show off our final pictures. So we cut out all of our pieces. Um, I realized I forgot eyebrows. So I added some eyebrows and then I got a hairdo and then I glued it onto a page. So here is my Cubist Picasso self-portrait. The face is green because that is my favorite color. Um, this is my normal eyebrow and this is my crazy mom eyebrow where I ask Lily why she hasn't done her schoolwork. <laughs> this is my crazy bun on my head. And then these are my ears, my mouth. Maybe that's what it looks like when I eat a Sour Patch Kid. What do you think? And then my little, my nose. Why not? It's fun. So it looks nothing like me. It's very two-dimensional, it's very flat, and it's kind of fun, cubism. Okay, Lily, you want to show us your picture? Um, I chose white because so it looks very neutral, mm -hmm. and then these hair, because I really love pigtails, and my hair is almost black, mm -hmm. um, and... I look very weird. I don't look like, and I looks nothing like me. <laughs> I like it. And notice Lily signed her name, and she wrote her age, and she wrote today it being May of 2020. I signed mine too at the bottom. Okay, Emmy, your turn. You want to show us yours? Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, it just looks funny. It just looks funny, which it sometimes art just looks funny, and that's totally okay. So, um, for your second self-portrait. I am going to challenge you to, with your parents' permission, I want you to find light and I want you to take a picture of yourself now. So we did crazy pictures, right? Where we all like posed up on that wall and it was all fun and I took them of you. Well, I can't take your picture because we are social distancing and we are not at school. So I would love to see pictures of you, but I want you to do something um, that shows me how you learned about light, whether that be side light, like the window that's coming through the face right now, or you could find backlight, you could go outside and see if you could find a way to get a photo in the shade with the sun coming from behind. Um, how, what other types of light could we look for? Front light, you'd probably be blinking at the same time you take a pi picture. <laughs> you would, like, if yep. you, like if you found your cat in a sun thing, you could take a picture of your cat with the sun. You could take a picture of your cat. But I do want to see a picture of you. Um, that way we can look at the ones from the, how much you've changed since the beginning of art class until the end of art class. Um, and then if you would like to take that picture, if you can somehow, depending on your parents, um, and if you have that ability, if you want, one of my favorite things to do is what we did at the beginning of the year where I print a picture, it's a picture I've taken, and then I paint on top of it. And it's a really good lesson in light. So when you go to go paint it, you can look at it and be like, okay, are the highlights, so all the highlights where the sun is touching, so all of this over here, what kind of colors could we use for that? Lighter peach or like... Well, it doesn't have to be peach but it could be lighter colors, right? Or like white. Or white, you could add white. And what is white when we add white to stuff? Tint. Tint, Tint. yes. Um, and then Tint. practice your shade. shade so your light and your shade, and it is a really good way to learn how to see light is to paint on top of a picture that you've already seen. Watch so, out, black is boss. Awesome. I had a very fun year with you. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys learned a lot of things about art. Um, I would love to hear what your favorite thing that you learned at art this year. I know we didn't get to some of the things that we wanted to, unfortunately. Um, it made it kind of hard to teach some of the stuff on the video, but I really did enjoy spending time with you guys and getting to know you more this year. So I hope to see your self-portraits, both your Picasso, Cubist, abstract portrait, and your practicing with light and shadow for your realist portrait. So I will talk to you guys soon.